Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tech That Doesn't Bite. My name is Jeff Worden, and today we are going to be learning how to make subtitles in Videopad. Not an overly complicated process, but I can tell you that's a rather time-consuming one. But it could be an important skill if you want to translate from one language to another and have people be able to see it. I know this might be especially good for, say, like anime dub videos. I know that's kind of a big thing. So, let's get started and see how it all works out. All right. To get started, you just need to drop your video clip into the file area here. Then drag it down to the sandbox area down here. And once the video is loaded and ready to go, you'll want to know that the subtitles button here is actually a separate function from the add text button over here. The add text button will add itself to the images tab of your work area. Subtitles doesn't do that. So when you do click on the subtitles button, you will get this new window. Now, it doesn't look like you can do much here initially, but the moment you click into this text area here, everything will light up. Now, this pretty much has what you would expect text attributes to have. Bold, italics, underline, text color, uh, which will be important with what I'll be doing for this clip. Uh, then various other attributes such as uh, outlining, shadows, background color, and font size. The last item here is the alignment placement of where you want your subtitles to appear. Now, pretty much all the time, um, it'll be centered at the bottom of your video. Now, this is not to suggest you can't put it somewhere else, but why would you do that? You know, I mean, it's up to you. It's a creative thing, right? <laughs> All right. So now the adjust margins button here can either help push up or down the text default placement. Now I have it set to zero as the default spot, which is fine for my purposes. All right. Now, last but not least, the font itself. Now you can pretty much select any font your computer has, and that includes any font you've purchased or downloaded from third-party sites. Mind you, some fights might not... Some of these fonts may not render well here, and generally speaking, you want your audience to be able to read the subtitles, so you want to pick something that's pretty clear. Okay, so once you've typed in some text, it will default to a three-second duration. Now, you can easily change this, but I'm going to touch on that in a moment. Okay, so here's line one. Now, to go to the next line of dialogue, you just click on the Add button at the top here, and then type in the new text then type in the new line of text, excuse me. And then you do that with any color changes you need if someone else is speaking. Um, in this case, you can see that I've changed it to yellow. Mind you, this is just my preference. Um, obviously, the voices make it pretty clear as to who's speaking, so it is really up to you as to whether you want to change the colors or not. All right, so now we'll add the third line. And uh, there is more dialogue to add here, but I want to go over the duration of the dialogue and how to change that. Now, there are several ways you could accomplish this, and frankly, both are really tedious. But it is the nature of what this requires if you're going to subtitle a video clip or an entire movie, which would take quite a while. So the method I used here was that when I loaded up the clip, I just opened Notepad and typed out the start and end times of each bit of dialogue. And once I was done with that, I manually edited the start and end times by clicking on them and then inputting the new times. And a good time, I was done and we're essentially set. Okay, so let's take a look at the clip I subtitled here. Now, so you know, my Spanish is a little rusty. I mean, I, I was in high school when I learned it, and I took three years of it. But I think I got this down pretty good. So, here's the clip. Esta es la casa. ¿Estás seguro? Esta es la dirección. Sí. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Nos gustaría ver al señor Erkan. ¿Para qué? Somos sus amigos. Venimos a visitarlo. Por favor, avísele. Esperen aquí. And that's pretty much it. That's how you make subtitles in Videopad. Pretty straightforward, a little bit time consuming, and obviously you just need to have an excellent command of the language that you're translating from, just like I do. Yeah. So. Uh, come and visit our website at techthatdoesnbite.com. We have loads of other tech tips, tech reviews, and just tech things we'd like to talk about. Thank you for joining us. Have a great one. Thank you for tuning in to Tech That Doesn't Bite. Those like and subscribe buttons, just click on them. You won't regret it, we promise. You want to click on the notification button, too. Come and visit our website at techthatdoesnbite.com. Have a really wild day.